plastics recycling becoming a very big challenge for Europe. What do you see as the, the, the single most important issue that needs to be addressed? I think we need to fight again the incentive to export our waste as the most uh, cost-effective solution. And for this, I think we need to not only uh, apply the existing instruments, but maybe investigate one step further about creating some standard, about defining recycling such a strict way that at least it will be not so easy to fulfill with the recycling achievement if we export waste abroad. Okay, a complex issue, but exporting waste abroad, is, is, is Europe exporting its waste to the other parts of the world or is there a, a transnational internal European issue here? No, I think uh, if it stays at the internal, uh, uh, on internal European market, it's less of a concern because we can apply the same standard and expect some enforcement. The problem is when we can claim that we fulfill our recycling obligation by uh, exporting our waste outside of Europe where we do not have a clear traceability on how it's going to be uh, effectively recycled. So, so your message is clearly Europe stop dumping your waste on the rest of the world. What concretely do you think the European Union can do here? Yeah, that's why I know the European Union cannot uh, uh, legislate on uh, blocking the frontiers and that's not our point. But I think we can create some quality standard that will make sure that what we call recycled material has a certain level of quality. And if we then impose this standard as uh, an obligation abroad facility, I have to respect also to be, uh, 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 I would say, counted as recycling facility that will at least help the European industry to develop further, to make the investment, to create the jobs here, and hopefully to have the environmental benefits. I think it's also a matter of principle. We are clearly against the fact that we let the other country deal with our own waste. We should be able to deal with our own waste. And if we've got non-sustainable patterns today, I think it's a bit unfair just to transfer that to developing countries to deal with our uh, own uh, waste. So, so the European Union should encourage systems to, to recycle, to take in the plastics uh, and, and the whole infrastructure, improve the infrastructure that, 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 that there is maybe in a little bit already, uh, beyond, far beyond what we have now. Yeah, I think we need really to, to, to change the paradigm and to go for just minimizing the waste impact uh, on uh, citizen, human health and environment to uh, really enter the how can we make the most uh, out of the waste we produce while reducing it to the maximum we can as, uh, as far as we can. We heard a lot of views from different sides, different stakeholders in this debate. What thoughts do you walk away with here? Yeah, I think I was uh, 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 on this issue we are more or less online with the Commission. We try to push them a bit further because we think they need to investigate new, uh, I would say, inst economical and regulation tools to accompany the traditional ones such as landfill tax and producer responsibility. And we also uh, are in line with all uh, progressive industry like the PET bottle. We try to really have now a code of conduct. We try to have closed loop system for the bottles. But again and again, we insist prevention should not be neglected. And for that, we we need uh, not only a regulation push to define prevention target, reuse target, but also maybe more uh, education and uh, more awareness raising. Okay, Stefan, thanks very much. Is there anything else you wanted to say? Well, uh, let's say that probably uh, the issue with recycling plastic could also be applied to other type of material. So it's also good to start with one priority material and learn and try to apply this to other material where it could be relevant as well. Thank <laughs> you.